Hey, everybody, it's the After Show with Stephen Colbert. He's already whipped his way through his uh, his martini. Did you catch a little buzz tonight, Stephen? A little, a little bit. I didn't wait for you. I thought, I thought we were starting slightly earlier, so I got started before the show started. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Stephen, Charlotte B wants to know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how uncomfortable was it sitting in your bathtub in a full suit? And how did you clean it during quarantine? It was not a full suit. I did not have pants on. I had a shirt, a jacket, and a tie. But right uh, down below, yes, it was just giant squid. Right. Um, you know, I've talked to Amy Sedaris about this, and I... I wonder what you have to say. I mean, Strangers with Candy, which was my entry point for you, it was how I discovered you, and it's one of my favorite shows. I mean, it almost, I don't even know if Strangers with, with Candy, it was so dangerous that today so in bizarre. the culture we're in right now, could it even no, air, Steven? Absolutely not, because her character and my character, all of us, are we, we wrote it, I don't know if Amy's ever told you this, but we wrote the show with the idea that we didn't write it, that it was written by this woman named Jocelyn Hershey Guest. And Jocelyn Hershey Guest wrote all the scripts, and she was trying to write a show that was actually giving good moral and ethical lessons to high school kids. Okay. But but every wrong moral choice is made at every time. So right. literally, we would have to, like, we were stuck. We were like, well, what would be the wrong advice to give? What would be the wrong thing to do? And then we would do that. And the other less, the other rule we had was if we laughed in the room writing it, it had to go in the show. Like we couldn't, we couldn't censor ourselves. Oh my God. And so there are terrible things these characters terrible. say and terrible. You do make fun of we, blind people, handicapped people, gay. I mean, it's it's we endless. we we would like look at the notes from the network going, oh, please cut something. Please say we can't do wow. something. And they would never, I don't think. Like it was back when like five people watched Comedy Central. Right. And so they didn't care. Like we were producing every week. We didn't cause any trouble. So no, I watch that show sometimes. Like I look at the father. Yeah. I look at the father <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think I, I came up with that. And I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, what is wrong with him? <laughs> I can't I can't believe how strange that show is. And yet, at the time, we were like, it all made sense to us. Oh, my we God. How old were you when you were doing that show? 31. Really? Maybe? 31 wow. or 32, something like that. Wow. Yeah, because my daughter got born right before it. And she's... My daughter be got born. I mean, my, she was... She done got born. Yeah, she really. She was, Steven. My daughter was born shortly before that, and so right. I don't know. She's going to be twenty-five in September, so yeah, right. I, I was thirty-one or something like wow. that. It was there, like, yeah. Go ahead. Do please. you have any? Is there any moment? Do you ever sit around and remember something that was in Strangers and think, "Oh my God, I hope that doesn't come out." I'm like <laughs> the face of CBS right now. I mean, no, no, no. Good, no, Good. Andy. Good. I stand Good. by all of it. Good. All of Good. it you should. ultimately is is I think an, an a a a helpful addition to our culture. I agree, and so are you, Stephen Colbert. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. It's always so fun rapping with you and having you on so the nice show. So nice to I, see you, Andy. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you after all this is over. Me too, and wonderful to meet Ben. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. Hi. <laughs>